All right, so catching some killer rays. We will work on this worksheet today, and then tomorrow we will do the cell cycle and cancer worksheet that we have. So it will be on Canvas for you later. Real quick before we get started, so everyone listen to what I'm about to say. It is important for everyone. If you, in the future, are going to be taking a quiz or a test in this class online, you cannot take the quiz or the test on your phone. If there are pictures on the quiz or test, it will not show up on your phone. The mobile site is not optimized for pictures during a quiz or test. I don't know why, it's just how it is. So you need to take the quizzes or the tests, you need to take them on an actual computer in your house. So sit down at a computer, take the quiz. Do not do it on your phone because if there's pictures on there, you will not be able to see them. It has nothing to do with the test. So the test is not broken. It's just your mobile site, your, the mobile app is not optimized for pictures for tests or quizzes. I don't know why. So in the future, if you need to take a quiz or a test online in this class, please take it on a computer, not your cell phone. Okay. Okay. Okay, so this worksheet has to do with cancer. So we have this girl named Sheena, and apparently she has skin cancer. So we need to answer these questions about cancer. So what I want you to do is, I want you to look at your notes that we did in class, and I want you to tell me, what is cancer? What is the definition of cancer? Yes, sir. Yes. Who can tell me what cancer is? Yes, ma'am. It is a mass of cells. Yes. How do you get that giant mass of cells? What is happening? Well, so they multiply fast and Uncontrollably. Controllably, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, where cell division is uncontrolled and Alyssa, what did what did you say? I said like from a mutation. Mutations, yes, and mutations are forming. That is what cancer is, yes. Okay, number two, what is the cell cycle? So what you need to do, or what you're going to have to do, is you're going to have to know all of the parts of the cell cycle and what is happening during each of those parts. So for this, I want you to tell me what are the parts of the cell cycle. So we have the first part, which is the main part, which is called what? What is the first part of the cell cycle? Yes, ma'am. Interphase. This is the main part of the cell cycle. This is where 90% of your cell's life is located. Interphase has how many sections? How many subsections does interphase have? Three. So this has three parts. The first one is called what? What is the first part of interphase? G1. What is the second S part of S interface? S, S, S. And what is the third part? G2. G2. Very good. What does the G represent in G1 and G2? Growth. 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 So you are going to grow. And then what does the S stand for? Synthesize. Synthesize. Yes. So your cell is going to grow, it's going to synthesize, and it's going to grow again. And then it's going to move into your second part. What is the second part of your cell cycle? What's after interphase? What's the, what's the main? So prophase, yes, but what's the main? Mitosis, yes. So this is your mitotic phase, also known as mitosis. And you have how many parts to mitosis? Four. Four. This is your one that has four. 
So the first one is, what's the first part of mitosis? Prophase. What is the second part of the prophase? Metaphase. What is the third part? Anaphase. And what is the last part? Telophase. Okay. Can anyone tell me what is happening during prophase? Look at your notes, what's happening during prophase? More specifically, what's happening to your chromosomes and your chromatids? What is it? Condense. So your chromatids are condensing. What is happening during metaphase? The M in metaphase gives you a hint. Because they're going to travel to the middle of the cell. Middle of the cell. Okay. Once they travel to the middle of the cell, they're going to undergo anaphase. What is happening during anaphase? They're going to start to divide. So they're going to start dividing. And then telophase, your last step, what is happening during telophase? They're going to move to opposite ends. of the cell. Okay? And then your third part, which is kind of related to mitosis, but it is its own thing. What is after mitosis? So after your cell divides, so this is your cell division, what then has to divide? Um, yes. Benjamin. Benjamin, yes. So your cytoplasm has to divide. So when your cytoplasm divides, that is called cytokinesis. cytokinesis. So cyto the K I N K I N E S I S. Yes. Perfect. And that is when your cytoplasm divides. Okay. So step one is interphase. That is the majority of your cell's life. So it's 90% of the time that your cell is in interphase. It's either going to be in G1, which stands for growth, your S phase, which stands for synthesize, or your G2 phase, which is another growth phase. And then it moves into your type mitotic phase, which is your mitosis part, which is when your cell is dividing. So the nucleus of your cell is dividing. So we have prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. And then we have to do cytokinesis. We have to have our cytoplasm divide to make those two daughter cells. What is the process of cell division called? So there's cytokinesis. What's the other one? Mitosis. So your cell division is made out of mitosis and cytokinesis. Okay. Um, I thought it was on here, but I guess not. Okay, so real quick, I want you to put a star on the bottom of your paper, and I want you to remember, and I want you to write down, and I want you to know what is the most important. Why do we do mitosis? Why is my, mitosis important? Because we are making what? New cells. What? New cells. We're making two new cells. They are called what? Daughter cells. And how do these two new daughter cells compare to the initial parent cell? They are identical. Identical. So this is very important. 
especially once we start talking about meiosis because mitosis and meiosis are different and that mitosis you have identical cells so the same cell is being made over and over and over again meiosis you have different cells so your genetic makeup is different in the daughter cells than it is the parent cells but mitosis you have identical cells the amount of dna that you have before mitosis is the same after mitosis so two new daughter cells that are identical that is the, why we have mitosis this is why we do mitosis okay any questions on that okay so on the next side this side we have this question to answer and then we have this cycle to fill in so what is the period of growth between cell divisions called so the area in between the cell division part what is that part called interphase interphase because the cell division part is called mitosis or the mitotic phase and in between your mitotic phase you have interphase all right so now we have this circle this cycle to fill in so i know it's kind of washed out but this is what it should look like so you have your cycle you have this arrow down here you have this You have this, 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 this says interphase, and this says cell division. Okay, so what we need to do for this is we need to label the parts of the cell cycle and we need to color the different parts of the cell cycle. So this circle needs to be colored and labeled. Okay? So, let's start. Okay. First of all, this, all of this, is your interphase. So these are the three parts of your interphase. So I know we wrote this down on the previous question, but repetition is key. So the more times you do this, the more times you write it down, the better you are, will be at memorizing it for the test. So your first part, we're going to go clockwise because that's how cycles work. They go clockwise. So what is the first part of your interphase? G1 is your first part of your cell cycle of your interphase. What is happening during G1? Growth. growth. So this is our first uh, growth phase. And what we are doing during this phase is we are making organelles. Because what has happened is we have just, it's a cycle. So it's always one after the other. It's always occurring. Okay. So what happened is we just came out of cell division so we have divided and so now we're going into g1 so a lot of the times what's happening is during this phase we are missing some organelles that we need in order to be a cell so our cell is going to grow and make organelles the ones that they don't have after the previous cell division so g1 is your first growth phase you are making organelles what is the second part what is it? So it's, what is it called? Synthesis. S, so your S phase stands for synthesis. Synthesis means what? To make. So synthesize means to make. You are making what during this part? What are you synthesizing? DNA. So you are making DNA, also known as 
replication. Replication. Okay, so you're making a copy. Uh, so you're making a copy of your DNA, which is also called replication. So we have our first one, which is G1, our second, which is S. What is our third part of interphase? G2. So again, what is happening during our G phase? Growth, some sort of growth. So this is our second growth phase. And during this one, we're going to make proteins. And we're going to get ready for what? What's the next step after G2 that we have to get ready for? Mitosis or cell division. Uh, let's do mitosis. Yes. Okay. So after you do your G2, you move into your cell division, which is also called your mitosis. And how many parts of mitosis do we have? Four. Four. So one, two, three. So this is our first, two, three, four. Okay. All right. So what is the first part of mitosis? What is step one inside mitosis? Prophase. Prophase. This is prophase. And what is happening during prophase? What's happening to your chromosomes and your chromatids? Condensing. 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 Okay. What is step two in mitosis? Metaphase, because once your chromosomes, once you see your X's, your X's have to line up in the, where are they going to move to? The middle. The middle. So your metaphase is second, and they are gonna go in the middle of the cell. So I will have a key on canvas of this, so if, you're, if you can't, sees that well, and I, if I'm running too small, there will be a key on canvas. Okay. So we have prophase, metaphase. What is the third step of mitosis? Anaphase. 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 And what is happening during anaphase? Dividing. They're going to start to divide. Yes. Start to divide. And then what is the fourth part of mitosis? What's the last step of mitosis? Telophase. Telophase. And what is happening during telophase? The opposite. They are going to move to the opposite end. Very good. Very good. Okay. So that is our cell division part, that is our mitosis part, and we have one more. What's after mitosis? What is this little chunk representing? Cytokinesis. Cytokinesis. Cytokinesis, yes. And what is happening during cytokinesis? Cytoplasm dividing. Very good. All right. So once you have that labeled and colored, what I want you to do is on the back, it has a table with empty boxes. Each box, you need to write down exactly what is happening during each of those phases. So everyone should have their notes out and you should be writing down, according to your notes, the fill in the blank notes that we took before you left for Thanksgiving, you should be writing down what is happening 
during each of those phases that we just went through for the cell cycle. So I will give you a few minutes to work on that by yourself and then we will go over it before you leave. So I'll give you about five or 10 minutes to work on this and then we'll go over it before you leave. Oh wait, hold on. I was looking at the wrong one. Oh no, yes, okay, okay. So yeah, I'll give you about five or 10 minutes to work on it and then we will go over it before you leave, okay? But use your notes, write as much information as you can because there are multiple things happening during each of those stages and you need to know everything that is happening during every one of those stages. Okay, so mitosis, the process of mitosis is going to form two new daughter cells that are identical. And then during prophase, what is happening during prophase? Prophase, what's happening during prophase? Renee, is the same thing? Okay, so yes, your chromatins, chromatins, fibers are condensing okay and then your chromosomes become visible okay so that's prophase uh what else is happening because there's quite a few things that are happening so your nucleolus Nucleolus is disappearing. Your nuclear envelope and envelope is disappearing. And then your uh, spindle fibers are forming. So all of that is happening during prophase. So you need to know that all of that is happening at that time. And then our next one is metaphase. So metaphase, chromosomes are moving to the, where? Moving to the middle. Of the cell. And then what's also happening is your spindle fibers are attaching to the chromosomes. Okay. So both of those things are happening during that time. And then anaphase, your sister chromatids are starting to separate. With help from spindle fibers. And then telophase, your chromosomes are moving to opposite ends of the cell. Your spindle, fiber, spindle fibers will disappear. Also, what is disappearing is your all right, no, not disappearing, sorry. Your nucleus and your nucleolus will reform and then your chromosomes will uncoil. So all of that is happening during telophase. So basically your telophase your cell is going back to normal. Okay. 
And then cytokinesis, what is dividing during cytokinesis? Cytoplasm, cytoplasm is dividing. And then we have our interface. So we have our three parts of our interface. The first one is our G1. What does the G stand for? Growth. growth. So this is our first growth phase. You are making organelles. And you are getting ready for What are you getting ready for? What's the next step? Synthesis or copying your DNA, yes. And this, this. Right? So then we have our S, and our S stands for synthesis. Synthesis. Synthesis means to make. We are making a copy of our DNA, which is the same thing as replication. And then last but not least, we have our G2 phase. So G stands for what again? So this is our second growth phase. And you're getting ready for mitosis. So what do you need in order to make mitosis or for mitosis to occur, you need proteins. So you are making proteins. proteins and getting ready for mitosis. All right, so that is number six. That is catching some killer rays. Tomorrow we will do number seven, which is the cell cycle and cancer worksheet. So make sure you have that tomorrow. I will put copies on Canvas tonight. So make sure you have a copy tomorrow to do in class.